Coming off their sixth NCAA tournament appearance in the past seven years, Butler's offseason was far from quiet. The school moved to the Big East Conference, Coach Stevens to the Celtics. Brandon Miller became the new head coach and the team left for Australia, where the Bulldogs lost Rose Jones for the entire season. So they were tabbed for ninth in the conference out of ten teams. I definitely think there's a, a bigger chip on the shoulder, of course, with all these changes. Um, of course, with Brad leaving and then went from the Atlantic 10 to the Big East. So there's definitely a lot more uh, attention coming on us, but you know, all of, all of us, we're just, we're just up for the challenge. Uh, we're ready to play, we're excited, and we're ready to get after it. Without a care for preseason predictions, Butler came out of the gate strong, winning at home over Lamar, Princeton, and Vanderbilt in overtime. Dunham for three. That one's good. Brom holds it, works right to the basket. Hands it over to Brown. Behind the back, here's Brown. Butler looking to get it inside. It's Kyle Marshall. The team picked up their first road win at Ball State with a defensive stop in the last possession. Then came the Old Spice Classic. A win over Washington State put the team in the matchup with number five Oklahoma State, where after a hard fought battle, the Dogs were handed their first loss by two points. Two days later, Butler fell to LSU in overtime, leaving them five and two returning to Indianapolis. Butler was resilient, winning all remaining five non conference games, including Purdue in the Crossroads Classic. Barlow ahead to Brown, Brown reverse underneath, play in. Brom open left corner, three, Brom hits. Dunham deep three, Dunham got it, KD for three, and the Bulldogs have a lead back. Sophomore Kellen Dunham leads the Dogs with over 18 points per game and shooting 45% from long distance. Dribbles between the legs, stops for a three, pulls up and hits. Dunham, tough shot, contested, three, Dunham connects. It was dead center, what a shot. Seniors Eric Fromm and Kyle Marshall have provided leadership for this team, with Marshall averaging 17 points, 6.7 boards, and some high-flying highlights. Alley oop for Marshall! Oh, goodness, he put that down. Juniors Alex Barlow and Cameron Woods have taken incredible strides in their performance on the hardwood this season. Barlow has one of the best in the Big East in assist to turnover ratio and steals. Good defense, Alex Barlow. Lost that basketball. Woods, a force in the post and the leading rebounder in the Big East. Cam Woods goes into the lane, navigates traffic and throws it down. Six freshmen on the roster this season. They've had to play critical roles off the bench for the team this year and will be called on to develop quickly as the team heads into the grind of conference play. But the season is young, the era of the Big East upon us, and the Bulldogs start first with one of the best teams in the nation against Villanova. The story of the Bulldogs 2013-2014 campaign is only 12 chapters in. With a disregard for preseason expectations, Ted and Two Butler still knows how to win ball games. We'll soon find out how Butler does in Big East play. Make sure to get out to Hinkle Fieldhouse to watch the Dogs in action for yourself.